All right, let's check in on what is happening in the markets and we start off with the JSC. Uh, of course, uh, it's been uh, quite a choppy week for the JSC, but it looks like uh, actually with the gains that we are seeing today that it might be overall a good week, As uh, even though there was a wobble on Tuesday. So let's check in on how that market has done. Of course, as I mentioned, again over there, extending the gains that we did see yesterday, uh, the all share up by four tenths of a percent, that largely being led by an advantage advancement in the resources 10 complex are climbing more than eight tenths of a percent financial 15 also following in the same direction by a third of a percent and the industrial 25 up by almost a fifth of a percent i won't be looking at the u.s markets today as they are closed for the fourth of july holiday uh, but uh, crossing over to the european markets and on that front talk is all about the uk elections that are taking a place uh, today and actually expecting those to be counted overnight we should get uh, a result Results uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, so, looking at those markets, though, uh, quite optimistic. Even though there is uh, expected to be a change there, a political uh, shift in leadership. Uh, Footy 100 up uh, more than eight tenths of a percent. The CAC 40 climbing almost nine tenths of a percent, and the DAX advancing by almost half a percent. Let's take a look at what is happening on the currency scene and we start off with how the RAND is doing against some of the major currencies. A little bit of strength coming through to the RAND now at 18 Rand 25 against the US dollar, against the pound at 23 Rand 30 uh, and against the euro at 19 Rand 74. Let's check in on how the other currency pairs are doing with the euro dollar remaining steady at 0 uh, 1.08, a uh, pound dollar at 1.27 and the yen just above 161 against the US dollar. With that playing out in your markets, more analysis on those moves right after the break.